the open source nano banana competitor is here and it's amazing. Every humans when we scale your overload and boy oh boy do I have some mind blowing stuff for you today. Because yes, a brand new Quen Image Edit AI model was just released called Quen Image Edit 2509. Yeah, I don't know about that name here guys. Also called Queen Image Edit Plus. And it's basically Queen Image Edit, but much more powerful. Because this time, this model is able to automatically edit multiple images together with just a simple text prompt. And it's really fantastic. You will see why. And today I will show you how to install it and show you everything you can do with it. So that being said, sit back, relax, and let's go. And to install Quen Image Edit Plus, you have two ways. The first is of course by using the one-click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. Just download the installer onto your computer, then double-click it, then it will ask you which quantization model you want to download, depending on the VRAM of your GPU. In my case, since I have more than 24 gigabytes of VRAM, I'm gonna press number three, and then press enter. And then to download and install all the models and nodes you need to run Quen Image Edit Plus. And then once everything is done, I actually highly recommend to update Config UI yourself manually by going inside the update folder and then running the update config UI.bat file. This is the best way and most reliable way of updating Config UI correctly, because otherwise it's not gonna work. So once everything is updated, you can go back and then run Config UI. And then once you've launched Config UI, once again for this video I prepared a special workflow that you can find on my Patreon, so just download the workflow and then drag and drop it inside Config UI. And there you go. And when it comes to the manual installation, the link for it will be in the description down below. Okay, so now we can finally have some fun. Now what is Quen Image AZ Plus and what makes it so special and how does it compare to the previous model. Well, once again, if you have never watched my previous Quen Image Edit video, you should definitely watch it because I'm not gonna go over the same things over and over again. But essentially, Quen Image Edit is basically an amazing model that allows you to edit an image by using a simple text prompt. The model can understand the image, it can understand your prompt, what you want to do with it, and then it applies those changes onto the image. Like if you want to change the color of a woman's hair from brown to blue, all you have to do is just upload the image, input a prompt, and then bada bim bada boom, it automatically changes the woman's hair from brown to blue. And Quen Image Edit can do a lot of cool things, but Quen Image Edit Plus has been updated with a lot of cool features, like the ability to edit multiple images together very easily to create a third one, combine multiple images to put your character in a different situation, change the outfit of a person by adding elements from different pictures, and even modify the position and outfit of a person using a reference image and a control net. And I'm not even talking about all the different addition and update consistency that make this model really, really powerful. By far the most powerful open source image editing model to date. Okay, so that being said, let's actually put this model into practice and see how good it is at modifying images. Okay, so basically, in my workflow, you will see here two different workflows that are very special because one allows you to use Quen Image Edit Plus normally, and then the second one allows you to use Quen Image Edit Plus as a super inpainting model. Now, once again, this is basically the same exact workflow as I used in my previous super impending workflow video. So if you haven't watched it, definitely watch it first. I'm gonna start with this because it is pretty much the easiest way to, to showcase because well, it's simply a in painting model, exactly like I showed in the video. So you just upload your image right here, then you're gonna right click, click on open in mask editor, then you're gonna create your mask where you want the image to change. So let's say I want to change the hair, I'm gonna create a mask around the hair, then click save. Then I'm gonna write my prompt, change the woman's hair color from brown to blue. I'm gonna disable resize image. And now if I click run, and after a few seconds, you get something like this. As you can see, this is the before and this is the after. And as you can see, only the part that you masked is actually changing, nothing else changes, nothing else moves, and the only thing that was changed was the color of the hair. Nothing else. Which is really, really super cool. Which basically makes this model the most powerful open source in painting model ever. And you can use that model to in paint anything. Once again, I've made a video about this special in painting workflow for the previous model, so definitely watch that video as well. Okay, so now let's talk about the main course, the Quen Image Edit Full Plus workflow. Now, inside this workflow, it's very, very special, and at the same time, it might seem very familiar if you use my previous 
use Quen image edit workflow. And the one big change is the fact that now you can input up to three different images as well as control net, which is really, really super practical. Now, once again, if you don't know how any of these works, I have input different nodes to tell you how everything is working and what you should do. Like the only thing you really need to know if you already used one of my previous workflows before is for example here with the switch latent, if it is put on false, it automatically resizes the first image to a resolution that Quen image edit likes. But if you put that to true, here you can use your own custom resolution for the final image. But for this example, I'm just gonna put that to false. Here you can enable the second image and the third image. And here is when you enable or disable control net. And you can either use open pose or depth anything. And right here, if this switch is set on false, it uses depth anything. And if it is put on true, it uses open pose as it is written right here. But don't worry, I'm going to show you everything on it works step by step. So I'm going to use a very simple example first to show you how the model works. Like for example, if I put an image right here, like this one, for example, and I say something like change the woman's dress to a black t-shirt without any other thing enabled. If I click run, which in the end gives us something like this. As you can see, if you compare it to the previous image, nothing else moves except the things that ask the model to change. And once again, if you use like the native workflow that you can see everything online, you might not get this type of results. Hence why my workflow is, you know, better, much more powerful, because even with this model, sometimes it still like kind of changes the original image without actually changing the things that you want it to change. But as you can see with this workflow, everything is working perfectly fine. And we went from a normal dress to a black t-shirt in only a few seconds. However, what's now very, very cool is that you can also swap outfits very, very easily. So instead of using a normal black t-shirt, you can enable image to right here and upload, for example, an image of a black t-shirt, but with a very specific logo or design. Now, the second thing that is very cool with this model is that this time the model understands which image is number one, which image is number two, and which image is number three. And you can put that in your prompt to make it even more precise. So like for example, if I say something like change the woman's dress to a black t-shirt from image two, and if now I click run, where before I had a normal black t-shirt, now I have the black t-shirt with the special design. And as you can see, it is really super precise because the design is exactly the same as the one that we see right here, right down to the last pixel. This is really, really good. I mean, this is fantastic. Like this model is so powerful. Like you have no idea. Like this is really, really good. And also what's really, really cool is that you can swap more than a simple dress. You can swap entire outfits. So like, for example, if I upload this image, of a cosplay of Asuka from Evangelion. And if I put in the prompt, change the woman's dress to the red outfit from image two. And if now I click run, in the end, we get something like this. I mean, look at that. I mean, this is the before and this is the after. I mean, this is, <laughs> I mean, this is really, really cool. This is really, really good. And I mean, look at the details. The outfit is literally the same. And all of that while keeping the same exact position as the original image. I mean, this is, this is really, really good. This is fantastic. Now, another thing that we can also do is instead of swapping clothes and outfits, we can actually swap positions. And this is where we're going to use control net. So like, for example, if I use the open pose control net, so if I enable control net right here, and I put that to true, and I write in my prompt, simply change the woman's pose. I don't even need to do anything. If now I click run, as you can see, it now uses the open pose control net to kind of extract specific pose from the image and then apply it to our base image right here. For in the end, give you something that looks like this. <laughs> yeah, this is, I mean, this is fantastic. Like this is the before and this is the after. As you can see, we have taken the original image. Then we have taken this reference image. We have extracted the position of the body of the woman using the open pose control net, which gives us something like this. And then we apply that position to the original image to finally give us something like this. I mean, I mean, this is really fantastic. And as you can see, it really corresponds really, really well 
to the pose that we have right here. All of that while keeping the original character very, very consistent. Like you have even like the same moles, the same dress and everything compared to the original image. I mean, this is really, really good. And if you want, you can also use the uh, depth anything control net, which can also give some interesting results depending on what you're looking for. So this time, instead of having this, stick figure we're gonna have something that looks like this because it's a depth map and then the depth map is going to be used on our original image to give us something like this as you can see it is a more different image than the one we did previously because when we have a bunch of like different data from the reference image right here like the rail like the long hair like the bracelets and everything was applied to the original image to create something like this. And I mean, hey, it still looks really, really good. And we still kept the consistency of the original image. So, I mean, if you want to, I mean, the option is here. But I think that most of you will probably use the open pose control net so that you can keep the original image and the setting intact while simply changing the pose of the character. And what's really cool is that not only that, but if you want to, you can also add another third image to the mix and for example let's say that i want to change the background so i'm going to use that background of the living room and if i say something like change the woman's pose and change the background to the living room from image three and now if you click run it's going to take data from three different images where you have here the consistent reference image the character then here you have the pose and then here you have the different background and it's all gonna be mixed together to make something like this and i mean what do you want me to say guys this is just this is insane like we went from this to this and what's really crazy is that everything is extremely consistent like you have the consistency of the character you have the consistency of the pose and then you have the consistency of the living room from image number three and all of that mixed together to create this image right there i mean this is i mean this is insane like if you understand all the things that you can do with it i'm sure that you can understand that this is a very big deal like this model is insane and to be honest we're really just scratching the surface like this is really just a simple example but i've seen multiple examples online of people using this to make some really cool pictures so like for example let's say i pull the image of this cute anime girl and then in my second image, without even using control net, I upload this image of this 3D mannequin that has this, you know, weird position. And if in the prompt, I put something like change the pose of the girl in the first image to the pose in the second image and make the face shape hairstyle and outfit the same as the girl in the first image. And you can also put the girl as a puzzled look on her face. And now if I click run, it gives you something like this, which is really just insane. I mean, we went from a simple image with a 3D mannequin without even using control net for in the end, create something like this. I mean, guys, do you even understand the insane capabilities of this model? I mean, this is really just amazing. This is insane. So imagine all the things that you can do when it comes to image creation or even video creation. Once you use that in combination with 1.2.2, then this model just becomes absolutely insanely powerful. Oh, and also I forgot to say that it might seem obvious for some of you, but the good news here is that all the previous LoRa's that works with Quen Image Edit will work with this new Quen Image Edit Plus. So if you wanted to do something more, you know, um, scandalous, that is definitely not something that I can show on YouTube, all I can say is that it works very well. Actually, it works even better now. Y yeah, and you can of course put two characters interacting together on a different background to look something like this. Oh, so this is what it looks like sitting next to a woman. Well, this is a first, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean, once again, what do you want me to say? This is really, really super good. This is really just fantastic. But don't worry, even if you don't have a powerful GPU or no GPU at all, you can still run the GPU on a website like RunPod and run Quen Image Edit as if this was running on your local computer. So if you don't have a RunPod account already, you can click the link in the description down below and create a new account. Then you're gonna click on Pods and choose a GPU with at least 24 gigabytes of VRAM, like a 4090 for example. Then you're gonna click Change Template 
template and search for entrepreneur. Then you're going to choose the Comfy UI template. Then click edit and put 80 gigabytes for both container disk and volume disk. Then click set overrides, scroll down and then click deploy on demand. Then you're going to wait until everything is ready. Then once everything is ready, you're going to click right here. Then click on the manager button, click update all. If you want to follow the progress of the update, you're going to click right here. Go inside the logs folder, click on the terminal icon and then paste this command so that you can follow the progress of the update and see when everything is ready to move on. Then once it's done, you're gonna go back, click on restart, click OK. Then once it's done, you're gonna go back, press F5 on your keyboard to refresh. And then here, if you're one of my Patreon supporters, the installation will be very easy for you because for this video, I prepared a one-click installer and to use it, it's very simple. You're gonna go back to Workspace, Comfy UI. Then you're gonna drag and drop the installer inside the Workspace. Then you're gonna click on New Tab, click on the terminal icon, and then copy and paste these two lines of code that you will find in the Patreon post. And this will install all the models and nodes that you need to run the new Quen Image AD plus model. Simple as that. You don't need to do anything. And then once everything is ready, you're gonna go back, click on the manager button, click restart and reboot the server. And once everything is ready, you're gonna go back again, press F5 to refresh once again. And then finally, you're gonna drag and drop the workflow inside Comfy UI, ready to be used. And there you go. This has been Quen Image Edit Plus. By far the most powerful open source image editing model ever made. Way more powerful than Quen Image Edit first of its name, and on a very similar power scale compared to Nano Banana, and all of that completely uncensored running on your local computer. And that is really fantastic. So that being said, definitely try this out yourself, and I'm sure that you will have a lot of fun. And there we are with folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the reason why I'm able to make these videos. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.